Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I have been very, very ill with the flu. I'm finally over it, so now I'm going to do a tutorial on how I do classic red lips. Start off, um, this in my opinion is the most important step, exfoliation. You want to get all those dead skin cells off your lips so that it doesn't look all crusty. <laughs> So I use Kiss Kiss by Philosophy. I believe it's $15, and this tube should last you a very long time. I shake it up a little bit because sometimes it t tends to settle and squirt a little bit onto my finger, probably about that amount to start out with, and just start rubbing it on my lips. A little bit more. You want to make sure you have enough of the exfoliation beads or sand or whatever it is. feels kind of like sugar crystals. Okay, now I let it sit for a couple seconds, you know, let it soak in because it does have nice oils in it that help hydrate your lips, and it does have a really nice minty flavor too. Then I take my finger again and just rub it. Like that and then I'll go like kind of rub my lips together then you take like a warm washcloth or paper towel and just wipe it off okay now the next step is to use like a lip balm primer whatever um, I do use Duop Prime Venom, and this kind of moisturizes and primes your lips. Um, not only that, but it also plumps your lips. Um, I forget how much this was. I think it was around $20, maybe a little more. And you just put this on. And I really like it because it adds no color. And it also adds no shine, too. And it really helps keep your lipstick on. And this is just like the original Duop uh, lip venom flavor, kind of like a cinnamon flavor. Anyway, um, now I'm going to go ahead and do my lip color and lip liner. Um, here's what I'm going to be using, the Smashbox Double Take Lip Color in Cranberry. This is awesome. It has a liner on one end and a lip color on the other end. So how cool is that? You have it both in one product. This was $22 from Sephora. You can also get it at Smashbox.com. Now let me go ahead and zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. Tilt this down a little bit. Whoops. Okay. Sorry if the lighting's a little bad. I'm going to take wrong end, the lip liner, and start with my Cupid's bow. And work my way from there. I usually like to use short strokes. And then also I'm going to fill in my lip a little bit with the liner. And that's going to also help the lipstick stay a little better. And you don't have to be perfect with that because you're going to be filling it in with the lip color. Now I'm going to take the lip color side and just fill it in. Like so. 
And I'm gonna zoom you back out. Whoops, not in. Now this is a blue undertone red. People with lighter skin usually want to stick with a blue undertone where people with darker skin typically want to stick with a more yellow undertone. Now you don't always have to do that, you know, makeup rules are meant to be broken in my opinion, um, but that's what I found works best for me. Um, and a one great thing about a blue undertone lipstick is it helps make your teeth look whiter, as you can see. Um, that's another really good plus to red lipstick. Now that is the end of my tutorial for this. Now you can always add gloss to it or whatever you want to add to add your special touch. Um, however, I usually like to keep it matte. To me, um, that's the classic look in my opinion. However, you can take it any way you want to and go in any direction you want to. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from this. Have a great night.